Happy Thursday. So, I think, uh, not that we, this is, this sounds so stupid. I was gonna say we should all get a pat on the back for breathing. Um, and I, you know, I don't, I say that with uh, levity, um, but look, the day in and day out of life can be a grind um, for anybody. It doesn't matter what you have, right? It's the perspective, you know, you might have great problems, but they're your problems. Whether, it doesn't matter where you are on the spectrum of the haves. I think uh, the awareness and the gratitude to have and want what you have helps alleviate some of the uh, the grind or the, you know, the feeling of Groundhog's Day every day, just doing the same old thing. For me, I mean, even just sitting here, like before I did this talk, I was just like, ah, oh, today, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, today, you, yeah. And then I, you know, gratefully, I, I, I was like, yeah, your life is fine, dude. Um, but those moments, that challenge uh, my perception, like, um, can sometimes come rapidly. And I have a lot of those moments strung together and I'm not necessarily grateful in each moment. And I'm challenged to find and change my perspective. Um, life, I think the moral in, in our society, in our society, in Western society, because there's people that aren't included in this society, I guess, that may struggle with different things than we, than I do, that, that do struggle with different things than I do. Um, and I have far more challenging lives. The tenacity it takes for people to just get up every day and go to work and do all of the seemingly mundane things that they need to do to stay responsible and above water in our society can be a grind. Where you are on that spectrum, I think, it, it may feel more arduous than other, for, for you than for other people. But I, I was talking to a friend last night, and it boils, I think it boils back down to if you're okay with where you are and who you are with what you have, the circumstances and the material things are just icy on the cake. And I think that boils back down to the awareness of this moment and the experience that we're having. And if I can be grateful for this breath and this moment, then... If, a circ if the circumstances change and they're tragically horrible, I don't have to be, I mean, I could be aware of the situation. I don't know if I have to be grateful for that experience, but it is just an experience, you know? And then on the contrary, if, you know, I win, you know, a lot, the lottery and I'm able to do a lot for, you know, for my family and my community and, my, and myself, I will be fine too, you know? I love the I love the saying that's an inside job because it is if I'm not okay inside I'm not going to be okay doesn't matter how you dress me up you know in a million dollar suit or in you know 50 cent suit like I am just going to be miserable if I'm my insides are miserable I'm miserable in whatever outfit I'm in so yeah we get to do the work on the inside, which is not, which is, ten, which again, <laughs> takes tenacity. It takes determination to continue to be the best you can be, even when it's uncomfortable and tiresome and irritating and you just want it to be over and, or, or finished or get to that next step. That's why it's a marathon and not a sprint. Much love.